I think we have. You know, it, it, it's certainly we were, we were coming off of a it was a high moment of our of one of the high moments of our season. It was a big win. It was it was important for our program. Um, but you know, I think our kids understand the the, the mindset, the attitude that you you know you got about 24 hours to celebrate on them or to or to sulk and pout over losses and got to move on and I think our kids have learned that and uh, you know coming out Monday we had a great practice we've shown that, that, that we're, we're ready to prepare and move on to the next game and uh, we've got a tough one this week so it's a uh, you know, great win but, but uh, we've got to get back to, to you know the next opponent and get our mindset on the next opponent because we've got a good one right here in the Paladero Dawn. They were 38, 49, and 31 the last three weeks. What's clicking on your offense? Oh, I just think, first of all, it, 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 our, our offense is a, is a quarterback centered offense. It really is. Depends highly on good quarterback play, and our quarterback is playing better at this time. Um, our offense line is getting better and improving. Our running game is getting better and improving. Um, you know, receivers are doing a great job of running routes, and we're doing a better job of blocking out on the perimeter. So we, we are scoring more points right now. Um, I think it's just uh, hard work, consistency. We believe in what we believe in, and, and uh, we're not necessarily going to change uh, just because certain things don't work. It's just uh, get back to work, you know, get back to work, work hard on it, and let's stick, let's stick with the course, stick with the plan. Chad, also the defense getting the ball back for the offense. The defense playing really well. Yes, sir. That, that's one thing that we always put an emphasis on is creating takeaways with their defense and getting the ball back in our offense's hands. Um, we did a great job of that the other night. We really did. We had, you know, when you face a high-powered offense like that, um, the game could come down to one or two or three stops in the game. You know, you're not going to stop them every time, and you can't. You can't worry about it. You got to match them offensively, and then keep playing hard. And that stop will come up. You never know when it'll happen. So, or that that takeaway will happen. As long as you're, we tell our kids, as long as you're hustling, you know, you're going to find opportunity. And, and we were hustling that play. The ball popped loose, and we were able to get on it, and, and um, you know, be able to go ahead and win it right there at the end of regulation by a field goal. So it was, uh, it was a uh, great, great job by our defense. They, they, they opportunistic, you know. I think it boils down to their their effort. The kids are getting better. They're hustling. They're flying around, um, and we're we're proud of the progress we're making right there defensively. Hey. Coach, I know you say you wanted to move on, but uh, some teams don't have kickers. A lot of teams got to go for two every time. But to have specialty players like that that are able to step up their scenarios and they're often overlooked. But how important is it for your team to have a kicker that can step up in the situation? You know, the kicking game's huge, and we preach we preach kicking game every single week. We've always told our kids that we want to use the kicking game as an opportunity or to give us an opportunity to win games or, or create an advantage through the kicking game. And we've done that every single week. We spend a lot of time throughout the week in our, in our kicking game. Our special teams coordinators, uh, Mike Collins and uh, Josh Young, Coach Mike Collins and Josh Young, they do a good job of selling kicking, kicking game to our kids. We're fortunate to have a good kicker. Um, you know, it's there's a lot of schools that struggle finding one kicker, and we've got multiple kickers in our program that, that, that can kick. Uh, we're, very, we're blessed. We're blessed to have those kids, and um, I'm thankful for them every single day. I think such one of the strengths of this district is quarterback play. Uh, you, you've got certainly. seen Corian and then Sawyer last week and Dondre this week. Uh, how do you think that you guys have fared against the quarterbacks and what kind of uh, problems does Dondre uh, present to you guys? You know, our, our district is full of quarterbacks. We've seen good quarterbacks through the non-district. We've seen good quarterbacks through district play. And it continues this week with Andre. He's a he's a he's a great quarterback. He's he's one of the top passers in our league right now. Um, the kid can throw the ball. He, he, he's got the respect of his of his teammates. You can see that. Um, he's certainly going to pose a threat. Um, you know, I, I, I'm certainly um, respect his ability as as the quarterback and and, and as the leader of their offense. Um, you know, our quarterback as well, Will, he's, he's doing a good job in improving. And, you know, it, it's fun to watch matchups like this every single week with good quarterback play. And we're certainly, we respect uh, Al Duro's quarterback, and we're certainly proud of our quarterback play at this time. Don's are running two, they're going to come in hungry. Yes, sir. Uh, is it critical to handle the emotions early in this game for you guys? I think so. You know, they're going to be. This is this is a big game for them. It, 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 it's a big game, regardless of our records. You know, it's Paladero versus Amarillo High. It's been a great game for years. Um, I certainly don't want it to lose any luster or its luster in any, any way. Um, anytime you have a cross town rivalry, 
rivalry. It's a big game, and, and I think our kids are excited about it. I think they're excited about the opportunity, and we know they are. We expect the best. Uh, we expect everybody's best every single week. We really do. It, it's, a, it's a very competitive district. Uh, teams that are well coached, teams that are uh, full of great players, so a lot of fun every every single week. It's hard on the nerves as a head coach, it really is, but it's a it's a lot of fun to watch.